head coach Greg Mitchell. Greg, talk to us a little bit about last year and the success you had. Um, last year we, we had a pretty good season. I think we finished up 12-5 and 2 last year. Uh, always have a tough schedule, so to finish up with a, a, a record like that is, is always um, satisfying. Uh, but it's not going to be any different this year. Uh, another very tough schedule, probably the toughest schedule that, that we've had, um, you know, since I've been here. Uh, but we've played a tough schedule every year, being in the conference that we are in. And uh, I know now with the changes in uh, the divisions, it, it might be different, maybe come postseason. But um, during the regular season, it's no different. We still have the same, same tough schedule um, that we've always had. Uh, what are some of the team goals going into the 2024 season? Uh, for one, we, I think we have to start looking at the conference. Uh, we've been knocking on the door every year. <laughs> we've been here, um, lots of second place finishes, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but uh, we did happen to break through, you know, one, one time and, and get a conference title. And uh, with the number of seniors we have this year, that will certainly have to be a goal for us to try and attain again this year. Absolutely. Uh, who are some of the players that will get you to that level of success? Uh, we have quite a number of seniors this year um, that we're looking, you know, for good contributions from. Obviously, Eva Iannucci is probably our most decorated player. Um, uh, you know, state team and, and conference player of the year la last year. Um, so we'll definitely be looking um, for her to uh, lead, you know, the the, the team in, in that regard, um, Grace Vilwak uh, has been tremendous. Um, she's actually in Denver, Colorado right now, uh, but uh, she's another one that that we're looking forward to for great contributions this year. And um, anchoring our back line, uh, Ava Alvitro uh, as a senior and. In the midfield, we have two seniors or three seniors as well, I should say, in um, Paris Gentis, uh, Riley Vilwak, and, and Addy Christie. So, um, a lot of seniors this, this year, and, and we'll definitely be looking to them to, uh, to, to lead the group. Uh, looking at your schedule, you always schedule the toughest teams in Division One and Division Two. Are there any that stand out above the rest that you really want to see how your team does against? It's one of the toughest opponents. I think Hudson is always always a big one. Uh, we also have Glen Oak on, on, on the schedule, who remains in Division One um, after the uh, revamping uh, of the schools. Um, but Hudson has always been, you know, a top top five, top ten um, program that uh, they will definitely <laughs> show us, <laughs> you know, what uh, what we need to what we need to do and, and um, help us to uh, get better during the course of the season. In your Ava Yanucci, Ava, what are you looking forward to accomplish this season? Yeah, we have a really senior heavy group this year, so we know that we have a lot of high expectations. One of our main goals is to definitely win the conference and make a run in playoffs for sure too this year. Awesome. Uh, who are some of the players on your team, your teammates that are going to help you get to that level of success? Everyone really plays a huge role on this team, and that's what's so special. We have kids coming off the bench, too, that really make a difference, too. But some of the main ones, Gracie Vilwalk on the wing, she really helps me out. Uh, Maddie Schmitz up top, our midfielders, Riley and Paris, our backline players, Ava Alvicho, Gianna Ognabee, and they've really, we had good success last year. We're hoping to continue it to this year. All right, is there any games on your schedule that you're like, I can't wait to play those guys again? Um, definitely our conference teams, Canfield, we really want to win, beat them this year. Everyone in our conference really, and then we have some tough games with like Glen Oak, Lake, Hudson that we're really looking forward to and hoping we can get a win. Howland senior, Ava Alvitro, special season being your senior year, what are some of the goals your team has? You know, we're really looking to win the conference and just have a winning season this year. We've like had some teams like Canfield and stuff we really want to beat, so. That hopefully that's our goal this year. Uh, who are some of the players and teammates that you have that are helping you get to that level of success? We have a lot of starting seniors. We have um, Riley Vilwak and Paris Gentis in the middle that are really going to be like good players this year. They're really going to help us out in the middle. And then we have some younger players up top this year, so it'll be interesting. Outside of Canfield, like you already mentioned, who are some teams on the schedule that you can't wait to play? 
West Branch. It's always a good team to play. Um, I don't know, like, we have a lot of Cleveland teams we're playing, Glen Oak and all of them. That'll be interesting. It's always a challenge, so. Alan with Senior Paris Gentis. Paris, this is your last year. What makes it so special and what are some of the goals for the team? Um, a lot of our goals for this year consist of just winning all of our games. Uh, we plan on hopefully winning conference this year um, and honestly just making it to like a district final, try to get as far as we can in the playoffs. Absolutely. Who are some of the players that will help you get to that level of success? Um, I'm going to be honest, I think just everyone in general are players on the field, even on the bench. I think to win, you kind of need everyone. It's not just one person. So I think that all of us, and if we all do our part, then we'll make it far. Uh, looking at the schedule, what teams are you looking at saying, I cannot wait to play them this year? <laughs> I'm very excited to play Canfield this year. <laughs> um, I want to beat them both, both games, of course. I think anyone would. Um, they've been our biggest challenge usually um, throughout the years, like especially conference and stuff. I would just like, it would just be, Great to win, and I'm excited to play them, yeah, so. What is the least favorite drill that he does in either conditioning or practice, and why is it 120s? Oh my God. Okay, it is definitely 120s. Um, just from freshman year, those have always been the hardest. It's all mental, he says, which is true. Um, physically, it's not like, I mean, it is very hard, but I think most of us could probably finish it if we just put our mind to it, but it's just like so difficult and you have to like run up and he's like if you guys don't finish like we need to keep running more because we're not in shape enough but it's it's needed so it's like I think that's the biggest challenge <laughs> just realizing that you need to do it but yeah.